Problem number two. What would be the extraneous solution that you would obtain when you solve the given equation? So we have a rational equation, and we're asked for the extraneous solution. Let's go ahead and write it down. So we have x over x minus 3 plus 6x plus 7 over. Now, this quadratic here, x squared minus x minus 6, um, this should factor, and it should always be the product of these guys. So x minus 3 and x plus 2. So x minus 3 and x plus 2. Now let's check. If we multiply x times x, we get x squared. So that's okay. And then the middle term is negative 3x. The outer term is 2x. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. Yep, that's the middle term. It always works. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So everything looks okay. And this is equal to 1 over x plus 2. So we're looking for the extraneous solution. What that means is we have to solve the equation, and then we have to check our answers. The answer that doesn't check, that's the extraneous solution. So in this case, there's two numbers that don't check. 3, because you can't have 3 here, because you would get 3 minus 3 equals 0, and you can't have 0 on the bottom. Likewise, negative 2, because negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and you can't have 0 on the bottom. So if you had to guess one of the answers, uh, it would be 3 or negative 2. However, an extraneous solution is an answer that doesn't check. Keyword answer. So we actually have to go through this and solve and then check our answers. All right, let's clear the fractions. So let's multiply everything. Let's see, to get rid of the x minus 3, uh, we need an x minus 3. And to get rid of the x plus 2, we need an x plus 2. It's kind of small. So we'll multiply everything by x minus 3 and x plus 2. So distributing here, the x minus 3's will cancel, and so we're left with x plus 2 times x. And then distributing here, all the stuff on the bottom goes away. So we have plus 6x plus 7 equals. On the right-hand side, the x plus 2's cancel, so we have x minus 3. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and distribute. So we get x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 7, and that's equal to x minus 3. Let's combine like terms. So the 2x and the 6x will give us 8x. So x squared plus 8x plus 7, and that's equal to x minus 3. All right, now we'll set everything equal to 0. So subtract the x and add the 3. So whenever you have a quadratic equation, it's a good idea to set everything equal to 0 and then try to factor. So you have x squared plus 7x, right? 8x minus x is 7x, plus 10, and that's equal to 0. This should factor. So let's see x, x. This is equal to 0. So we need two numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 5. So I think 5 and 2 should work. And they both should be positive because they need to add to a positive 7. So you get two possible answers here, negative 5 and negative 2. And we know the one that doesn't work is negative 2 because if you plug in negative 2 here, you get this. So negative, you get 1 over 0, which is bad. <laughs> So the answer in this case is negative 2, and sure enough, that's one of the choices, so that will be choice C. I hope this made sense.